Hi everyone, I'm Teresa Benson and today I'm going to be talking to you about growing family involvement at First Lutheran Church, specifically with social media. So a little bit about us, what this is basically saying is that we believe in being disciples of God and going out and doing God's good work the way that he taught us to do. And this is the front of the church, by the way, I couldn't get a better photo and not gonna lie i had to <laughs> stand awkwardly in the middle of the sidewalk and other side of the street to get some good photos of the church so the problem over the past five years or so we've really declined with family involvement in church unfortunately we just do not see many kids in church anymore which also means we don't see a lot of the parents anymore in church and with us having a youth program, we obviously want to grow that and see more families in church. Things that definitely contribute to the problems are sports. They are every weekend. Kids really just do not get a break from sports these days. Kids schedules. Kids are just over scheduled and constantly doing things back to back to back to back to back. I will say it's a good thing they have a lot of energy but um, they also need some downtime. And on the flip side of that, parents' schedules. Parents' schedules get so busy, and I think we can all relate to that in some way because we are all adults and things definitely get sprung on us last minute and we just get busy. So the solution. The easiest way to reach families is through social media. What we need to start doing is put out ministries that are specific to families, such as Sunday school, Wednesday school, family events, and confirmation. And with this, we should be showing photos of past events and photos of what it's actually like on a confirmation night, which is a Wednesday night, and Sunday and Wednesday school night as well. You'll see that later on. Our target audience is the Gen Z families, which are 1997 to 2012, and millennial families, 1981 through 1996. Content overview. So taking those four things I just talked about, event, Sunday school, Wednesday school, and confirmation, that's what we want to be marketing. So with an event, it's best to use a photo of previous events, uh, one thing we do a lot is turkey bingo right before Thanksgiving and so we like to use photos from the previous year and just keep it simple. Share the what, where, and when and any extra things that they may need. Maybe there's an entry fee or something. So with Sunday School, Wednesday School, and Confirmation, they can all sort of be marketed the same way in the sense of you share a post that includes age of kids that can join, what the purpose is, and when it is. There's, of course, little different things that you can do with it. Maybe you do a reel or um, just something, something else to really capture people's attention. It does not just have to be a graphic with that information on it. Um, it can be more creative than that. So this is just an example of what I did recently. We have our annual meeting coming up here shortly. And so I said what it was. I have some overview stuff about it, some things that we will cover in the meeting and when it is. And in the description, I made sure to put why this is important. Annual meetings are really important in the church so people can know what's currently going on and what our future plans are and also to vote on a few uh, items. Here's one that I did for Sunday School and Wednesday School. So you can see I have what it is, um, what the purpose is, and then the ages, and then, well, grades. I used grades <laughs> this time. And then I did when they are, so. And then here's confirmation, just really simple. And with the information that they need. So analyzing the results. 
really what we want to look at here is reach and demographics. So reach, we want to take a specific time frame and really analyze the data from that. And then demographics, we really want to keep an eye on to see which, where we're growing and where we're kind of going downwards from. I'll explain it on a different slide. So this is reach. This is just from December 23rd through January 16th. And this is the page overall on your left side. You might be the opposite of me, but where it says page reach, that's where that is. And then we have page profile and visits, which is on your right side over there. So the good thing is you can see that we've gone up in page reach by 34.7% and we've gone up in page profile and visits. And now our percentage is 152.2%. And a lot of times these numbers, these percentages, go up a lot after we live stream a service. That's obviously as a church <laughs> going to be a main attraction for our online platforms. And you can do this specifically with youth related stuff. Um, this is just overall page and uh, page reach and page profiles and visits, just what I had access to but I'm sure there's other softwares you can use to get more specific than that. So the next thing is demographics. So age, gender, and cities is what we're looking at. So you can see the age and gender of our audience so far. As you can see, the 18 to 24 age range is extremely low. I don't even know if that counts as 1% or not. <laughs> um, it's very low with both women and men. And then you can see it gets a little bit better with 25 through 34, but not, I mean, it does get better, but yeah. And then you can see the 34 through 40, 35 through 44, which is right there. So these three areas is really where you want to target and really grow, especially that 18 to 24 age range. And then you also have cities. So we are based out of Williston, North Dakota, and so that will obviously be the higher percentage. And then we have some surrounding areas, Bismarck, Minot, Trenton, Watford City, Fargo, Epping. Oh, Arizona's on here. And so there's Plentywood, Montana, and Alexander, North Dakota. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that by using and hearing about this information, we can use it to better market our ministry here at First Lutheran Church and hopefully see some numbers growing.